Hey everybody, I just want to hop on here real quick before the video starts just to sort of uh, let you know that the, this video, I actually filmed this back in the winter time, back in March, uh, just so you're not confused because you're going to watch the video and be like, wait, what? It looks like it's winter there. And also I'm using my Bandit 95, my older chipper since then. I've got a, a more bark now. So I filmed this back in March. Just wanted to clarify that. So in case anybody had any questions, I just, I got so far behind on editing that I skipped a couple videos to try to kind of get caught up. So the next couple videos are back from when Sandra was actually uh, visiting so just in case you were gonna be confused watching thought I would just clarify that so enjoy the video and uh, yeah thanks for watching oh man look at that that's a golden eagle I think whoa they're circling my body they're waiting for me to fall out of this tree and die good morning everybody um, we've got kind of a bigger job today got kind of a bunch of guys here there's my, uh, <clears throat> I got my truck and chipper right there. My, you know, service truck and I got the bucket truck here. So we're doing kind of a few things at this job. I'm gonna cut down this big maple right here because it just, you know, it's a maple. They're just terrible trees. They've got quite a bit of acreage here. Um, but you see this, we want to cut this maple out so these other conifers can do a little bit better. Our maples are kind of junk. You can't really see it. It's, I'm gonna use a bucket truck. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up popping out, but it is kind of tall and then check this out so i'm going to be working on that with my bucket truck and then we got gordy here and uh, mitch zenobi's around here somewhere he's gonna he's working with gordy they're falling a bunch of trees at this property starting with this big guy so this is <laughs> from a, a glance this is a really nice looking fur and she was kind of apprehensive to taking it out i don't blame her but the problem is that uh there was another fur just as big yeah, it was like right here. Um, and it also fell over and it actually smashed this building. It demolished this garage up here. So it had armillaria, you know, that white fungus stuff on the roots. So there's every reason to assume that there is armillaria in this tree because the roots are connected and it spreads. You know, if it, they really love to just gobble up fir roots and they tip over and you'll see there'll be actually no, <laughs> basically no stump, no roots. It's just like sitting here. So. Mitch and Gordy are gonna drop these down the hill. And then uh, I got Sandra here from Norway. He's kind of just hanging out, um, kind of seeing how we do things. And then we've got Kevin here too somewhere. Look at this thing. This tree might be 200 feet tall, I don't know. It's gotta be at least 180. But Kevin's gonna prune this today. It'll probably take him all day. This thing is so big. And it looks healthy. Um, but uh, it just can't hurt to go up there and cut some of the dead branches out and then remove some of the crossing and rubbing limbs. You're just, you're not doing anything crazy. You're just slightly reducing the, uh, how much canopy is up there. Uh, getting rid of some of the redundant stuff just so that there's a little less resistance in the wind. This thing is so big. It's crazy. You got your drone with you? Yeah, but it's dead. It's always you dead. To fly a line up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that thing's big. I'm just working on this. I'm, <laughs> I'm the bucket baby. <laughs> I got Kevin going up that monster. I'm just going to whittle away at this thing. I do a lot of bucket truck work these days. It's, I'm not complaining, though. <laughs> I was driving down the road in my, uh, my pins can. This is the second time I've had to mess with this door before the weld broke. So I had my mechanic, Luke, fix that, and now I lost two of these pins. <laughs> so the door, yeah, the door's all messed up. But the sun is shining, it should be a beautiful day. Gotta get that door fixed. Oh, and I got a running light out too. Gotta fix that. It's just never ending, Stuff's always, there's always stuff to fix on this stuff. For the base, it looks like yeah. it swoops back kind of here, but yeah. then it pulls back over. Yeah, it's right about here is where it starts to go over, I think. Couldn't have asked for a calmer day. <laughs> <laughs> you sure what you're doing with that plumb bob? Can you, oh. So that's right. So you hold your axe. You hold it lightly with two fingers, and you sight down it. And on the straight handle, you can see which way the tree is leaning. So it's like a like a plumb bob kind of. Yeah, if you got a throw ball and a string, you can do that yeah. too. It gives you an idea of how hard your life's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, ancient Egyptian method. Yeah. <laughs> I invented it myself. 
Kevin, you got your line set? Did you get my long rope? Not yet. Okay, I got that 300 footer you can use. I'll probably have to put it in the very top. <laughs> yeah. This is so he's just got key. an access. Yeah, I'm really curious. I think Mitch has a drone. We'll probably measure it. But uh, yeah, here's we'll a GoPro. see how big it is. Sun is super bright. This tree right here I'm climbing. I can only shoot my line up as far as that lowest ah. branch. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. It's a big, big tree. Ah. I'm rolling. Okay. So I think to that first branch is probably around 75 feet, maybe a little higher. The first branch? Yeah. Just the, that's the lowest branch I could get my line into. Be like an air cannon. with your line Kevin or are you going up? I'm going I'm going up. That that sounded like an aggressive question. That wasn't meant to be. <laughs> you still messing around or are you getting up that tree? <laughs> I'm scared. This is the biggest tree I've ever been in. Usually with a tree this big there's like two or three people in it with me. So what are you trying to do? I'm just saying. No, that thing is a monster. It's all right, I'll set you up an access line. I mean, I'm pretty stoked about getting to the top of this thing, but I'm not looking forward to how hard it's gonna be. Like, if if you were doing it, I'd be like, hey, set me up an access line, I'll, I'll run up there after you're done. I know, it might be cool just to see it. Holding my weight. <laughs> All right, heading up. I get nervous with these trees because I can't really see the ground very well. First stop, 75 feet. That's crazy. Might even be taller than that. Yeah, not my favorite tie-in. If that branch broke, I'd be on my way. Look how tangled this tree is in there, but this bucket truck just makes a hard job so easy, you know? Very little rigging. I might have to hop out of the bucket, but man, you know, it's all tangled in these other trees. No biggie. I just cut it in a little piece. It's so nice. It's just like every day I just so glad I got <laughs> And 
that tree is tall, dude. I'm like way uphill from it and it's still twice as high as me. GoPro, I probably can't even see what I'm doing. I'm like fiddling with my rope and stuff. Bald eagle above me? Oh yeah, bald eagle. Oh sweet. Bald, bald eagle, huh? Yeah, there is a bald eagle right above you. You got any of those chicken nuggets, Jake? <laughs> I want him to know I come in peace. Too soon, Kevin. No. <laughs> One of our chickens totally got eaten by, it had to have been the eagle or something, dude. It, it ripped the head off and it like uh, <clears throat> tore the body open, but it was it was clearly a bird that did it. There were feathers everywhere. It was a massacre. They were like really upset. But then, yeah, I brought home those four baby chicks. Yeah. Which, by the way, chicks are cheap. They're like seven bucks a piece. Oh, really? <laughs> and it was buy one, get one free. Oh, nice. <laughs> I spent 14 bucks, got four new chickens, and they were, they're like so happy. That's awesome. Really? Way to save the day. <laughs> kind of turned the horrible situation pretty good situation they, they're really happy about it I can't even imagine someone trying to spur up this it would be a nightmare there's no way you'd have to you'd have to go around every branch every limb oh man look at that that's a golden eagle I think whoa am I am I about to be killed like is something gonna tr dude look at that thing it's huge there's an eagle I can't even see I'm in the tree and <laughs> Dude, they're everywhere. Really? In the tree that I'm in. No, but I don't know what they're doing. They're circling something like it's my body. They're circling my body. They're waiting for me to fall out of this tree and die. Dude, is there a nest somewhere? Are we gonna go to prison? I hope not. Sandra, go look. Well they're not circling that tree though, they're circling your tree, but they're gone now. All right. I don't know what the deal was with that. That was crazy. I don't even know where you are, dude. I'm looking right at you. Well, I'm easy to see. You're hard to see. You're in the bushes. That's so funny you can't see me. I'm like wide open. Got the yellow mask down and everything. Oh, there you are. Wow, yeah, I see you. Like level with me, yeah. Yeah, you're not even halfway. I know. <laughs> it's gonna take me a long time to get to the top of the I don't see them anymore, but that's a lot of eagle to see at once. That was weird. And it was more than one kind too, so that was also weird. I just pieced our stuff out. I, I think I might try to just speed line it, just like right here. He said, uh, he says I'm two thirds of the way up. It looks like I'm in, in like a giant hedge. It's not, it's not pretty here. I don't know, Jake. I kind of wish I was cutting trees down right now. <laughs> 
I actually might get my throw line up here or something like that to get it retrievable, you know? You should just double down, man. It's gonna suck if you get that stuff. Yeah, that's true, it's gonna suck it up. And it's my rope anyway, just double that thing down. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Did you ever do that where you're trying to throw your rope around a branch and if you just took one like, if you just took one step up, you would, it, it's like easy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Freak, the hitch climber pulley, and the Stileo. I tried to Quran the other day, they said it's actually a Stileo, not Stileo. <laughs> All this is available at sappysupplies.com. Yeah, I was talking to one of the guys from Quran the other day, and he's like, Yeah, and the Stileo. I was like, Wait, the what? <laughs> I've been saying Stileo. Where are they from again? Is that French? Yeah, it is French. Dude, I just say it's the Stileo. Get over yourself. <laughs> All right, ready? Ready on speed line? Yeah, I made it to the top at about three, three, four inches of wood. Yeah, how's the view up there, Kevin? It's amazing. Yeah, I got a nice, got a nice view of Rainier out there. You probably can't see Rainier from way down there. Look at you, look at you down there. I know, I'm only at like 100 feet, it's pathetic. Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. And you're uphill. Yeah, it's, it's maybe, it's like, that's a nice fur, dude. tall this tree is but man this is really cool yeah this is a huge tree I'm like probably like three four inches right there dang my head my headset's dying you hear me, Jake? It usually dies fast. Yeah, it's done. this tree we're just cleaning out a lot of crossing branches deranged branches any kind of dead or diseased yeah we're very close to their house I mean it'd be really crazy if this tree ever came down but I mean that could be the end of that entire house <laughs> so I can see why they're nervous and yeah they just want to have a little more wind kind of uh, be able to pass through the tree so it doesn't cause as much leverage on the tree. That's kind of the goal of the pruning here and then any hangers or anything like that. So that's that's the goal on this tree. We got Gordy and Mitch over here. Just dropping some firs and some trees out here, some alders, I think. I think actually mainly just alders they're taking down, cleaning up the lot a little bit. Jake looks like he's in a, got himself in a pickle here. That thing I think is a little bigger than he thought. This shoe, I definitely thought this shoe would go a lot faster than it's going, but I didn't realize how tall it was. His bucket truck didn't quite reach it. 
so he's kind of stuck out there. Look how angry he's cutting. I've never seen him cut so angrily before. <laughs> sure I've never been this high in a tree before and I've been in some pretty large trees he's out there on that limb walk he's so far out there I think I'm just gonna wait to talk to him <laughs> he looks like he's probably struggling all right got one on calling Jake but he looks like, he's looking pretty busy. Okay, ready? I'm gonna throw this one on the line, ready? Nice. I'm just taking this really slow. I'm gonna keep working my way down. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it to the bottom of this thing in one shot anyway. And uh, I don't really want to use a cambium saver because the chances of me <laughs> getting it out might be pretty slim. Beautiful tree. Yeah, I see like branches like this going back towards the trunk. It's probably doing that to counterbalance this. this is, thing's probably too heavy, so that's going straight up. That doesn't need to go there. The wind's coming from this direction, so probably just take that off. Yeah, that's not a big branch. It probably just come out like it's not a lot going for it. And it's kind of in my way, so I just go. <laughs> yeah buddy yeah we're basically just making this thing more aerodynamic hey and you want to be careful what you do with these trees because this is going to be a response for 
for doing this and you just got to be careful on how much you take and where you take it from and because it's gonna probably put it back on but hopefully it just goes back on in the right places you know <laughs> I'm setting up a cambium saver against Jake's better judgment. He didn't want me to do this, but I think it's just gonna make my life easier. Set up these cambium savers. You wanna make sure every little nub, anything these rings can get caught on, you know, you wanna cut them out of the way. Yeah, like anything can get caught on these rings and then, and then you're done. Like you gotta come all the way back up here. It's a nightmare. And I got 300 feet of line that Jake gave me. This should make it to the bottom, but yeah. This has to travel, I mean. Really the angle you want. Spend your time setting these up. Because it's going to be a bad day if you, know, if, if you don't. Maybe, maybe not going over this one. Maybe just going that way it's less for it to go over. like Jake made it safely back to his bucket. <laughs> so much swing on one side it's probably the worst thing I've seen in this tree so far is that little top right there surprising that's it that'll just be consumed Headache! still wiggle away at this Got up and down a couple times, go put been dead for a good hour or more. Lost communication with Kevin, his Cena died, so just whittling away at this thing still. Now, <clears throat> this kind of sucks, but we have to speed line. Cedar really throws everything off. If I could just lower stuff, that'd be cool, but it's gonna be a big pain in the butt, so we gotta speed line it there. I can't speed line it here because of this fur. I can't speed line it there because it's right on top of my truck. It's just, it's just gotta go there, it's not too far away from the chipper. <laughs>
Beautiful. Come here, you little bugger. Oh no, no. everything or do you want to send bigger pieces and let's well, buck them? I do. If sending pe bigger pieces would be nice, but that back, if it leans backwards, at least that one arm, I might be able to send some bigger pieces once I get the top part out. It would be nice. Okay. Cut them up down here. Yeah, exactly. This yeah. whatever makes it go faster. God, this tree's taking forever. It's just everything's turning into salad. Like, I got my gas <laughs> Husky 540. This thing just freaking reds, man. And it's also got a prototype West Coast saw muffler on it. It's just actually loud. <laughs> yeah, this saw cuts like no other top handle known to man. I mean, I've been a huge fan of the 200. And I, 200 forever, but the 200 can't touch this saw. Uh, it's just good tooth. I mean, it just cuts so fast. It's almost 40 cc's and ported is the bar and chain combo. Like, it just cuts like no tomorrow. <laughs> This is a 16 inch bar. Look how big this cut is.
might be my emergency retrieval system. Jake's not gonna be happy if I get this thing stuck. But what's done is done. Here goes nothing. Say a little prayer for this retrieval. There we go. Please don't fail me. Here it comes. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Come on. <laughs> Woo! There's nothing, no better feeling than uh, being able to retrieve your uh, friction saver. Oh, I think I broke my my line. Oh wow. I think I broke my throw line. Well, I, so much for that backup. <laughs> Jake's gonna do his drone to see how tall it is. Oh, but if you start up there, you lose like the elevation, so you have to start at like the level oh, of the that's tree. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. I love when that happens. The rope runner falls apart. Yeah, it looks awesome, Kevin. Thanks. Can you say it one more time for the camera? <laughs> Are you rolling? <laughs> oh, I'm rolling. I'm always rolling when you're giving compliments. Yeah. <laughs> This thing is huge. Max altitude breeze. Well, yeah, exactly. That's how high I <laughs> climb, Jake. <laughs> Maximum altitude. <laughs> Your drone can't even go as high as I, I don't can know why climb. It's not letting me go any higher. Dude, no way. It's like 200 feet, like exactly almost. Get on the line. Hold on. 195. 195. It's a really short tree, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I think that thing. It was... wasn't 200. <laughs> not quite 200. <laughs> 195. Your, your camera's rolling? Yeah. Okay, that's level. Okay, no, You're one I'll, degree no. up. I'll get this. Okay. Right in the middle. Just touch the tip. It's 196 at the best. 197. There's at least a foot <laughs> of tip there. 197. All right, boys. <laughs> not quite 200. That thing is. Yeah, definitely the tallest tree I've ever climbed. They said that wasn't even the biggest one. It's night and day difference though from, I wish we took a picture like from back here. Yeah, the and difference. Then, because when you were about 20, 30 feet down, you, you could, could see the you difference. see the difference yeah. immediately. I'm glad you had awesome. this rope. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't think, I, I was actually saying that up there. I was like, I don't think I'd be able to do that tree without it. Yeah, totally. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Of course. It. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, thanks for having us back. Yeah. yeah, let us know when you want to do another round. Yep. Yeah, yeah there's some nasty ones the in regular. there still. I'll get you your quarterly or something. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Walking away at it. You have yeah. a nice property when we get done. Yeah, hey, great job on that tree today, Kevin. Yeah, it looks thanks awesome. For having me on that. That was cool. It looks freaking sweet. I don't think I've ever done a prune defer that big. I think you got me beat there. One, 195. That's yeah. yeah, that's uh that might be a record, buddy. That's a record tree right there. I did one removal that was 185. Coffee, huh? You got me beat. All right. And I'll never, uh, now I won't be able to sleep. You won't be able to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Climb up the <laughs> I'm going to climb one foot higher than Kevin. I'm going to wait a couple years for it to grow taller than I'm going to prune it. <laughs> right. Good to see you, Mitch. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. yeah. You did all the hard work. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Finally, some recognition. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't finished for you, but... Yeah, this, yeah I, did, I did a lot of it. Yeah, it awesome. sucked with these trees underneath, because, oh, like, yeah. yeah. That was a tight little spot, plus you got the expensive targets underneath. So. I know, right after they replaced the building. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know, well, like, six months ago when you're here, that thing was in tatters. Should have done it then. Oh, man. Oh, well. Right, well, that's it. Please like and subscribe. Check out my store, SappySupplies.com. All these folks have social media you can check them out too but yeah thanks for watching Sandra's kind of bummed out because he was we had a lot of plans to have him do a lot of cutting and climbing and stuff but they they really grilled him at customs like he's mostly just watching uh but he's still having a good time he's a little bummed because he was hoping to do more cutting and stuff but I think I told you already yeah they like they like went through our messages and uh went through all of his stuff it's kind of crazy they really were like you can watch, but you can't do any work is what they told him. So, yeah, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.